morning folks how are we we slept well after everything that kind of happened yesterday i mean the extended version came out could i contain myself no i couldn't i watched it on my own i'm sorry um but i still saw some things and i thought i still might give my humble opinion to it so we're gonna check out the extended edition today even though i've already watched it though i just watched it once um what i can say for now is in the beginning i really had trouble with like finding harmony between the singing and the instrumentals i really would much like to get just the instrumental version with the guitars just to listen closer to it so we're ready for the extended edition which already has like 5.7 million views no so don't don't always start when i um i'm also watching oh on my phone again because i'm too lazy to turn on my other laptop so there's that and i hate my hair today i just washed it so it's always a little bit bitchy towards me um so yeah, we ready? Um, we know it's like a, about a minute longer. Um, I think the end is the most interesting part. As you know, there's the time traveler theory and there is the... Still the uh, theory with Damien and Hammond Hess and the archetypes of the psychologist uh, C.G. Young. Carl Gustav Jung. Um, if you want to check, this, if you want to know about this, you can definitely check this out. It also fits quite well into this context of this, but I'm personally I'm still a support of the time traveler theory and the fact that the magic shop owner is your own inner demons. You have kind of to embrace and become them, so you can love yourself. That's my idea behind that. So, are we ready? Ah, <sighs> okay. Three, two, one. It would wake me from a coma. Okay, this is an additional scene. Like, he closes all the curtains. And he looks back to the flower, yes. Esmeralda? What, what was the flower? I always forget the name of the flower. And it's a close to curtain on Jim Cook. I'm a sucker for the guitar so I have the feeling it doesn't go together. Maybe I just needed to listen a few more times. Uh, you know, like 70s and 80s rock, so... I mean, that's, that's also an added scene that I couldn't like really make out if... The reflection moves and he does not, or if both move. Also, I like the sound effects. Like, there are more sound effects in it. There's the wallpaper in the back from the postcard in the picture from Lai. And I'm so convinced they are somehow connected. Jen and Jim Cook. Ah, this guitar though. Still have to get used to the fact that it goes together. He looks so dull. Run, forest. See? He's breathing. The only thing I still can't like get make out is 
Taeyong's role in it. Taeyong has a special role in it. I can't make out the role of Taeyong in this. Oh. This scene, like where he is like, uh, you know, you when you're hungry. <sighs> is this like does does he get a sugar rush? I don't know. As they changed some stuff, like usually, like with Yonggi's part, like the visual part, not the lyric part, but the visual part. Yeah, okay, we're there. Uh, I could... oops. While we are at this, we can talk about this. Um, there was this one scene, and I know it comes from the end again, so basically... Um, it's like the sandy path with the fresco in the back. Is it called a fresco? I don't know. Like the blue paint. And it comes back later, so basically Yonggi was there already. They are all there already. Somewhat, somehow. At least we know Jin was there. We know everyone was there, right? Jin, Taeyong, Yongi. Aram wasn't there. Jin, Jin was there. Yeah. So if we go for the theory of Young, that means like Yongi and Jimin are archetypes, and they fulfill their purpose, so they die and. That must be a nightmare being swallowed up by Snickers. So, what, Hobie fulfill his purpose too? If we go for the young archetype theory? This was in the teaser though. I, I wonder where this scene from the teaser went. So, there it is. I love the it's like, it's not a sculpture, it's actually like a wallpaper, a 3D wallpaper. Oh my god, he's this visual stuff. I'm fine. Like this, this in the back is a wallpaper. It looks like 3D, but it isn't. So we're back here, that's all the same. I remember yesterday at this point, I was like, hold on, there's like, what, a minute left or something? Like, what's happening? <laughs> What could possibly, what could possibly happen? And then they slapped me in the face. That I remember. See, this is what I meant. Like, I think like at least three, three or four members had like scenes in front of this. And I just remember that there was nothing. And I, and this is like the same. There's a door in the back. I see a door in the back. And it's the same where they dance all the time. Just now there's like snow, uh, snow, sand. The same way. <laughs> so, and I kind of think like, do they become like their own magic shop owners? This always reminds me on uh, this movie. My friend told me Ice White Shot. It reminds me of Ice White Shot. That's what she told me. Can we talk about this dude like in the in the other corner? Who's this? I would never get used to the fact that they like get squished. Did they get squished. Because it really looks like they get swished, right? Right? Soap. One eternity later. Why though? What does this mean? What does it mean that they get squished? What would be the purpose? I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm not really sure. I. I don't really get it. Um. I'm more for the time traveler theory. In which Jin still tries to make things right, and Jin Cook is the one who notices and tries to save his youngs by um, making Jin stop. Because Jin Cook is the one who understands that you have to go through suffering to grow, and that it's important that you do this in order to love yourself. Which is why he's the one who encounters the magic shop owner, because those are maybe his inner demons, <clears throat> and he starts to embrace them. And which is why he gets like. A mask on his own or something. I don't know. This is confusing my brain is right. 
But yeah, that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked that. And I see you in my next video. Remember to like and subscribe. And bye bye. Girl, so I'm a nun and girl, too.